Hi, my name is Ron Havens, and today is Monday, June the 12th, 2017, and today I am going to show you a build that uh, took a couple months for us to put together, my wife and I. We, put it, we built it together. Um, it wasn't because of the difficulty, it was just because of the time factor that we had to uh, put to it. But that's the figure that we're going to show you today. The LEGO Ideas Disney Pixar WALL-E. We put it together. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like because I've taken some still pictures, but the still pictures do not show, do it justice. So I need to show you on a video. And here it is. There's our Wally, and I have to do my impersonation. There's our Wally. Uh, it doesn't sound very good, I know, but it should be a little bit more mechanical. But as you can see, um, Wally has a door that opens for what he can go around and collect. Um, Let's let's see. We start with there. Uh, he has arms that move up and down and back and forth. I get a shot of this here. They can move back and forth. He's got little hands that he can hold things with that open up. Little grippers. Um, this plant that he's holding doesn't isn't gripped. It's actually clipped or uh, fastened to one of the uh, buttons on the hand inside the hand. But that. The, the claw is meant to stimulate the, uh, the look of uh, able to grip. Same thing over here. He's got the the grips, and if you see that little that little knob there, that's what is holding on the plant. So if he if I built anything else with Lego that I wanted him to hold, he could do that. And of course, on this side, it goes up and down at the same time. Um, his there's his eyes. Um, his eyes were really fun to build, and they pivot individually, and the head moves back and forth, and the neck moves up and down. Let's see if I can get to do that. There it goes. See that? Where you can pivot and come forward. I can't do it very well with just one hand. And that's the only problem with this model is sometimes, depending on the angle that you have it, the the uh, eyes are a little front heavy. So see, they kind of, they're naturally, if they're off balance, they kind of flow that way. There you can see the back of his head a little bit. This is what it looks like. And it's just kind of cool. This is probably one of my top five favorite models that I've built in Lego since I uh, started in 2000. 12 and uh, that's pretty cool the Disney Castle and the Apollo uh, Saturn 5 are probably my top two but this one as I said in one of my blog posts is on the Mount Rushmore of Lego models that I own and it is it's cool oh I forgot to tell, show you one thing he does his tractors move now he's not gonna do it on this on this uh, smooth surface but um, let's see if I can do this here I don't think I can uh, but his, he's got tractors that, there you go, see I can move it. And if you get him on a surface with a little bit of friction as opposed to on this desk, he can uh, roll across the floor. Now, my, I'm going to sit him up. He's going to be out permanently on display somewhere in my house, probably in my living room. My only problem is how I'm going to keep my granddaughter from wanting to play with it because I love this thing and I don't want anything to happen to it. But we'll deal with that. But there you go. That's Pixar Ideas or Disney Pixar Wally from Lego Ideas. And that's kit number 21303. I don't know if he's still available or not. If he's retired, I haven't checked the website. But if he is, he's been out for a while. I recommend you get him because he is a fun build and he's a great uh, Lego model to put on your shelf. This is Ron Havens, and thank you for watching this video about my latest in Legos.